Hello there. Some time ago, one of my subscribers asked me if I would do a video about my nails. Oh well, why not? Here is the entire process from start to finish. Enjoy. My nails are not painted at the moment. My dance school had its exams on Thursday and for ballet and tap the candidates are not allowed to have makeup, jewellery or nail varnish and as for a couple of the exams I have to go in with them I think it's only right that I go without makeup, jewellery and nail varnish as well so the nail varnish is off and as you can see I've got no jewellery on My nails are predominantly natural they are my nails um, and I have them wrapped to keep them strong but I'm so used to having long nails that if one of them happens to snap I will go and get them a tip put on just so they're the same length because I am useless without my nails so in my right hand they are four out of five are all mine on my left hand I've got a tip on the little finger a tip on the index finger but the rest are all natural all mine
my nails done. You may have noticed that my nails today are a different colour to the nails in the video. That is because life has kind of got in the way. And before I had a chance to top and tail that video, um, my three weeks was up and I was back to have the infills done again. And every time I go in, I have a different colour. Because I'm completely anal nutbag, every time I have a different colour, I also change my jewellery on my left hand. My right hand stays onyx. The jewellery on my left hand will change depending on the colour of my nail varnish. So today I've got purple nail varnish, so I'm wearing my amethyst jewellery. If my nails are dark red, as they were in the um, previous bit of the video, I'll wear my garnet rings. If my nails are blue, I'll wear my sapphire rings. And if my nails are black, then I've got a choice. I will either wear more onyx on my left hand, or I've got completely plain silver rings. Or I've got moonstone. depending on my mood. Just a few things. I have my nails overlaid with gel powder rather than acrylic because I personally find that it's a lot gentler on the nails. About once every six months I will have the whole lot taken off and redone um, just because they start looking a bit tatty and a bit yellow which is not so much a problem most of the time because I'm, I'm wearing nail varnish anyway but it's just better for your nails to give them a bit of breather once in a while. I don't use shellac nail varnish um, because the takeoff process is extremely harsh. Sticking my fingers into acetone once every couple of weeks is not my idea of fun. Um, and that's the stuff actually that does the damage to your nails really more than anything else. My nails, as I said before, are predominantly mine. Now, I know that some people, when they have long nails, they say that they can't handle them. Well, my nails didn't go from being short to being long. My nails were not tipped. My nails grew and I have them overlaid. And then as they got longer, I continued having them overlaid. So I was able to gradually adjust to having long nails. It wasn't um, a sudden change from short to long. I now am in the position where I can't actually cope if one of my nails breaks, I turn into a completely useless girl um, and I have to get the nail tipped just because I'm so used to working with the very long nails and also because the tips of my fingers have become extremely sensitive over time. So if anything touches the very tip of my finger, it actually makes me feel quite nauseous. I hope you've enjoyed this little fun video and until the next time, take care. Bye.